Hello and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia with me, Matthew Caddis, aka Poogie. So we're inside the Dark Rift and today we are going to start exploring this hellhole of a dungeon. And it is unique in the game in that it is a maze, literally, um, because um, you will have to go through each of these warp tunnels in order to get through each of the areas. The problem with this is that sometimes they will um, lead you to a, back to the beginning if you go into the wrong one. Thus, it is amazing. We, and the whole gimmick of this dungeon is to find the right w wormhole in order to go through. So yeah, so... If you will see here, there is one straight ahead of us, and there is a gap to the left. If we try and go through that wormhole, we go into a battle! Well, no, not really, but, um, yes, we will see what will happen after that. There are, are also some new enemies inside the Dark Rift, so I will cover them here as well, such as these ones. And again, I, I'm just trying to figure out which spells to use. Um, as I say, on the, uh, also on the last episode, um, there is a... Uh, um, Fina learns Sacrum, so at least that's something for healing all of the party, so yeah. The downside is it does cost a lot more he um, SP as well. And you continue to amaze me, Enrique, seriously. So moves give me bloody strength and heal the bloody party, and uh, then we can um, deal with these guys. So what do these enemies do? Seem to be covered in moss, these enemies. But unfortunately, I don't get to see their names either. Oh well. Part of the course, I'm afraid. Apparently called florists. Well, that makes sense. They are plant enemies. There's also these little slug enemies here as well. Yeah, I can see why they've been here. There's probably plenty of moss and water here on the side. Being based off of slugs. So what do these um, sluggish slime enemies do? Well, they just seem to be content with things. Apparently they're called Dilzools. Yes, Dilzools. I'm guessing that's a translation. The Japanese or something, because I don't know what as Dilzool would mean in English. I guess florist makes sense, or florist. Now, apparently the Dilzus are capable of self-destructing, which is very annoying because um, that they just did um, over a thousand damage. If I had not um, um, fought the likes of, um, dare I say, Rupee Lasso earlier, I think I would be in a lot worse position against these guys. Anyway, Lambdaverse, why not? Incinerate. Uh, coalesce and incinerate my enemies, or something like that. There we go. Yeah, that didn't do too much though. We're already low on HP. So, let's see what happens when we go through this wormhole that is ahead of us. Because, yeah. Please note that here there is some music playing. That will change once we go through the wormhole. Um, and that is a big clue also when we go through as well. It is also probably a good idea to stock up on healing items before you enter the Dark Rift. So if you go to either, well any of the towns really, you can get, I think you can get something at Esperanza. You can definitely get uh, Magic Dew inside, um... Uh, Sailor's Village, because they're definitely sh uh, selling both Sacrum Crystals and Sacrolene Crystals. So we go inside this wormhole and see what happens when we get to the other side. Because uh, once we get to the other side, well, let's see. Oh! God oh, damn it, we run into a battle. That's not what happens though. The music stops and, and it goes back to that windy sound effect. So yeah. So we have another enemy, a fiend door. And yeah, we can just remove the O and just call them fiends. 
Because they can inflict, I believe, um... Yep! They can inflict... Can't even say it now! Anyway, the Flores can also use Noxus, which causes poison. Yeah, I can do that! Um... I know, um... Let's see, fatigue. Yes, fatigue, which... Um... It's not good. The floor is also like using drilling, which lowers your attack. Again, I confused it with the enemies in the last episode. I am very sorry about that. But yeah, uh, drilling is not good. You'll also get a boss that does that a little later. An optional one, like Ruby Lasso. But um, still um, a boss nonetheless. Uh, yeah. It's easy to, to forget that this was a Dreamcast game. Some of the effects are still um, from the early 2000s, but it is still a good game. Despite the graphical uh, changes and everything. But that being said, um, Sacru Sacrum Crystal, please. I don't want to waste my um, SP using Sacrum with. Um, Things, so yeah. Um, Weathlers, no, no, definitely not. Weathlum, no either. Yeah, that whole bubble animation that reeks early 2000s video gaming, in my opinion. Which is nothing wrong with it, I guess. I mean, the early 2000s were a good time for video gaming, what with the. Um, with the Dreamcast, not only the Dreamcast, but also the PS2, the, um, the Dreamcast was going out of fashion by 2001, um, the GameCube, the Xbox, yeah, those were good consoles, even although the Dreamcast was going out of fashion because the PS2 and the PS1, that matter, was kicking its ass, but never mind that. Um, yeah, some of these effects are pretty cool. I mean, the whole magic hex below um, vice there when that drilling spell is cast. In fact, whenever any um, spell is cast, that looks cool. But it's just that bubble animation. Oh boy! Seriously, yeah, you don't want to go all PowerPoints on yourself. And yes, I am using Curia on. Um, Enrique there because I want to get rid of both the poison and the fatigue on him. So yeah. Ouch. Good. And he's confused! He uh, Vice is confused, which is not good. Yeah, seriously. Um you can attack your fellow party members, yada yada yada, you kinda get the gist with with that with many JRPGs, so I do want to use Curia on him. And Florist, I want to use... I'm not sure if I should have used uh, Pyres. Um, she has not yet learned Pyrum, which is the other reason why I've got... Um, um, Fina on the Red Moonstone at the moment. Again, so yeah. So let's get rid of those statuses off of Vice. Because I don't want to deal with that. So, at you. You're going to inflict some shit on me? Yes, you are. Okay, no, you're not. Never mind. So, he goes down and we are done. So, let's see what happens when we get to the other side of the rift. Because we heard the sort of noise and... I can't replicate it because I'm lazy as hell. So yeah, we are back at the beginning. Seriously. This whole thing um, takes us back to the beginning. So, let's see what happens when we go down... Um, when we turn to the left, then, in that area. Um, so yeah, I, I did actually leave the area and saved. Although, there is a save point within the, uh, the entrance area of the Dark Rift, so you don't necessarily have to. If you go to the left through the um, um, thing there, you will um, end up um, eventually going through this wormhole, which will take you to where you want to go. Yes, let's say this whole area is a frigging maze. It's very annoying for that. So what do we have here then? 
Mm, a couple more fiendos, but I didn't see the other one. Surax. We have seen them before. So, yeah. And, uh, let's see. You can uh, use that on me. Ouch. So, you go for it there, uh, Enrique. Very nice. And you attack! You don't protect. Defending was that fiend or what is that thing it was defending anyway? Lambda burst. I'm overusing Lambda Burst, but for good reason, it isn't a bad move for for Ica against regular enemies. Still does its job. So yeah. I like Lambda Burst. And rank up, and she's learned Pyram! Finally! A level three uh, fire spell. So in this area, you will see a bunch of these, what look like, mini black holes. Ignore them, we don't want to go through them. That it, behind us is where we went, and there's a whole load of wormholes as well. So yeah, some of them, all, all of, but one of the wormholes will lead us to where we want to go. So yeah, uh, you can see there... Um, there's a bunch of these things, and if we try to approach them, nope, they're just for sure. If we head to the right, however, we see two wormholes there, and two more to, if we move further ahead. I believe there's one below us. I could be wrong there, but anyway, let's see. Which one shall I go through? Upper right or lower right? Well, I'm going for the upper right, or upper left, sorry. So let's see. Will this take us back to the beginning? Seriously, the whole um, um, design of these wormholes looks like beginning to a James Bond film or something. I'm half expecting someone like Daniel Craig, or indeed the now new um, uh, James Bond, um, Tom Hardy. Oh yes, uh, the bloke who played Venom. Um... Oh no, this is the right one. Although, actually no it's not, because the... Music cut off, so no, that was the wrong one. So yeah, you kind of get the gist with this. Um, but yeah, it looks like the opening to a James Bond film or something. Seriously, more than that. So let's go back to this area and see which one we need to go through. So I say we go through the... Um, let's see, well there is the upper... I'm going to go through the lower right one then and see what happens there, seriously. And we get a um, area full of these things. It's all like seeds or something. Yeah, I do like the design of these areas of the Dark Rift. Yeah, this looks like an abandoned wasteland or something like that. With gigantic f foliage. Seriously, and it almost seems otherworldly compared to what we have seen thus far in the game. Which, of course, makes sense. It's supposed to be that way. So, yeah. And then we have this on the right-hand side. And let's see where this takes us, then. Yeah. And, um... I run out of things to say here. Yeah, seriously. I don't know things to say. The music continues, so that's a big clue that we're going the right way. Would you know it? We've actually found another save point. So yeah, so on the next episode, we will actually hopefully face the boss of this area. So until then, I will see you later. Goodbye!